Hey there everyone, Aaron here. Just a quick announcement here to let everyone know that episode 8 of Super Idols RPG will unfortunately be delayed for two weeks. It will now be scheduled to come out on Saturday, November 7th. In addition to GMing the show, I also edit it, and lately I have been very busy with work, unpacking after a move, and trying to get the next installment of my other show, Maho Profile, finished before the end of October. Maho Profile has already been delayed for several months, and so I really need to prioritize editing that right now rather than delaying it again. I also just have a couple of other short projects that I would hopefully like to finish before the month is out as well, so there's that too. Uh, so yes, apologies for the extended wait on this one, especially after what happened in the last episode. The reaction to Downpour has been really, really great. This was an emotional one for all of us, and we're so, so proud with how it turned out. The characters are gonna have some emotional downtime and self-reflection in the aftermath of all that, so, um, <laughs> maybe it works out that there's, a. Uh, a bit of downtime between that episode and the next one, anyway. <laughs> um, so what should you do while you wait for the next episode, you ask? I ask to this hypothetical person listening to this podcast or watching this post on YouTube. Well, if you want to discuss Super Idols RPG with other fans of the show, I actually run a Discord server called The Magical Stage, which is for anyone who considers themselves a fan of magical girls, idols, or just any of the content that I produce. There are a couple of dedicated Super Idols channels in there, as well as general chat channels for a lot of different hobbies, including tabletop RPGs, podcasts, anime, video games, movies, TV, comics, books, uh, lots of stuff. <laughs> we even have a a special adult channel, too. Oh. <clears throat> and by that, I, I mean we have a channel that is literally called Taxes and Back Pain, and it's for people to complain about taxes, back pain, and the myriad of other woes that come with being an adult in the year of our Lord 2020. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's a pretty chill server. Uh, there's no tolerance for trolling, harassment, or far-right BS. It's a very queer community. There's lots of uh, queer, trans, and non-binary folks in the community. Um, so if that sounds like a community that you would like and you would like to meet other fans of the podcast, uh, check out the Magical Stage. The Discord invite link will be in the description of this post. And another thing I want to remind people about while I'm here, uh, this show is actually on Patreon. I have a Patreon set up under my name, Aaron Cerise, and it serves as the hub for both Maho Profile and Super Idols RPG. There are different tiers for each project, so if you want to support Super Idols, you can pledge at either the regular Super Idols tier, which gets you access to some extra content for the show, including our original Session Zero, deleted scenes, and some of our episode after talk sessions, or you can pledge at the Super Idols VIP level and get access to early release versions of episodes. Sometimes they're, <laughs> they're rough cuts that are what they sound like before music and sound effects are added, so <laughs> that should be interesting to at least some people out there, I would hope. And you'll also get to be part of the rotating shoutouts at the end credits of the episodes. You know, the, the bits where I say, special thanks to today's featured VIP patrons and such. And both tiers will get you a special role and exclusive channel on the Magical Stage Discord. Well, how about that? So you can sign up for those tiers on the Aaron Cerise Patreon if you'd like to support the show, and know that that money will be going towards stuff like more transcriptions for the show. I've got a transcript for episode 3 now, I just need to finish going through it and proofreading it before it goes live. Um, and also there's ongoing costs like my royalty-free audio subscription with Storyblocks, podcast hosting services with Castos, cloud storage, Adobe, and also just Sustaining me as a living, breathing, hungry person who wants to stay alive and well enough to keep producing this show. Uh, if the Patreon starts making enough money in the future, I would also ideally like to start paying the players for their involvement as well, because they honestly deserve it. They work really, really hard to bring their characters to life and make the show what it is, and coordinate with me to make the show happen, and I am just so, so grateful to have found an amazing group of people to play with, and they deserve compensation for the effort that they put in. Ugh, this announcement's only like half over and my voice is dying. I'm sorry, I'm recording this at like 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's not great. I haven't had my tea yet. <laughs> but uh, I do have a few more things to say. 
So anyway, while on the subject of players, uh, I would like to announce that Michelle unfortunately has stepped down from Super Idols at this point due to their real life not lining up as well with being on a podcast as they had hoped. Um, they have wished us all well, and we all heartily wish them well in return as well. That doesn't mean that Cynthia will never be back as a character. Michelle did give us permission to bring her back as an NPC at some point if needed, but that will likely still be a long ways off, so unfortunately that means you will not be seeing Cynthia again in the story for a while. We are so happy though with what Michelle brought to the table for the short time that they were on the show, and again, we are hoping for all the best for them going forward. Thank you very much, Michelle. And unfortunately, Michelle is not the only departure I have to announce. Uh, Maria is actually going to be stepping back as well, just due to how many other projects she's got on the go, and she was just wanting to avoid burnout. This is more than understandable, especially since Maria has just had a very successful Kickstarter for her upcoming game, Hero 2 Super Edition. Uh, if you are interested in solo RPGs, journaling games, or games that center trans experiences, then you can go out and check out the original Hero 2, which is available for literally just a couple of dollars on itch.io. It's a fantastically emotional game about messy trans experiences in a superhero setting, and I think anyone who likes Super Idols RPG would absolutely love it. So definitely check out Hero 2, as well as Maria's other games, which will be linked in the description. You can find those at thatacegal.itch.io. And of course, keep an eye out for Hero 2 Super Edition, now that it's been successfully funded! Ah, oh, that's exciting! Uh, just a heads up, I guess it will be a while until Michelle and Maria's departures are actually acknowledged on the podcast, since we are quite far ahead on recordings. Our most recent play session covered what will likely be episodes 15 and 16, if that gives you an idea. So there will actually be a few more episodes that Maria will appear in that uh, you all have yet to hear yet, so she's not going away quite yet as far as um, y'all are concerned. But there, there will be several episodes where we don't really acknowledge that anyone has left, and it'll be several episodes after Maria's departure that we officially got word that Michelle was stepping down to, so... If we don't mention either of those things on the show for a while, that will be why. Currently, we haven't had anyone else join the cast to replace them, but we are in talks to hopefully fill our last player slot soon, um, and we are always on the lookout for more guest players. We are especially hoping to highlight more BIPOC voices in the RPG and podcasting communities, so if that's you and you want to guest on the show in the future, definitely reach out to us either on Twitter at SuperIdolsRPG or email us at SuperIdolsRPG at gmail.com. Our first guest episodes are coming up soon. Oh my god, I am super excited for those because they turned out so incredibly well and we're very, very excited to show them off to all of you. Uh, okay, that was a much longer announcement than I expected it would be. My poor morning voice can barely handle this. Um, but I think that covers everything, so apologies again about the wait for episode 8. I promise you it will be more than worth the wait, and in the meanwhile, go join the Magical Stage Discord to talk about the show, support the show on the Earn Series Patreon if you can, go play Hero 2, and as always, just look after yourself. It's still the middle of a pandemic, you should be staying inside if you're able to, and wearing a mask and washing your hands if you can't. And if you're in the United States, vote! For goodness sakes, vote! I'm not in the US myself, but loads of my friends are, and getting you-know-who out of office won't immediately fix everyone's problems, far from it, but it will make things less immediately dangerous for vulnerable people and make fighting for the solutions to those problems much, much more feasible, so please do your part to end this collective nightmare if you can. And yeah, I will talk to you all again later. Stay well, and goodbye until next time.